After keeping its short-term interest rate in negative territory for over eight years, the Bank of Japan finally pivoted to a positive rate on March 19th, moving its key rate to plus 0.1%. The movement to positive rates could have major implications for currency markets and global bond markets, particularly U.S. Treasuries. For years, investors have put on what's called a carry trade, in which they borrow yen, sell the yen to buy dollars, and then buy U.S. Treasuries with the dollars. This has been supportive of the dollar against the yen and supportive of U.S. bonds. Currently, Japanese investors are the largest foreign holder of U.S. bonds. If this trade unwinds, it could elevate the price of the yen and force huge sales of U.S. Treasuries. But it hasn't. After the announcement of positive rates, the yen actually declined against the dollar, leading some to believe that the notion of positive or negative rates is insignificant compared to the actual net difference between U.S. rates and Japanese rates. Yes, Japanese two-year yields have climbed to a 13-year high of plus 0.18%, but they are still miles behind U.S. two-year yields at 4.64%. The consensus appears to be that, until the spread narrows, positive rates in Japan are interesting, but not yet enough to push the massive unwinding that some anticipate.